Okay, uh, good morning everyone. My name is Sing Tai and I'm from Nanjing University of Science and Technology. So I'm glad to be here to introduce our work mandate for image restoration. Uh, so basically image restoration aims to recover images that have been uh, degraded. For example, uh, we want to recover a, a noise image to a clean image or a low resolution image to a high resolution image or a uh, compressed image to a uh, high quality image. So there may be uh, several other uh, restoration tasks, uh, but in this work, we mainly deal with these three tasks. So um, uh, since we're using the model for uh, in this work, we mainly we mainly present some prior deep thing work here. So they can uh, separate it to two groups. The first one is networks using uh, plane structure, and second one is networks using scape connections. So for the plane structure, the red state is mainly influenced by its previous state. And for the scape connections, it is mainly influenced by its previous state, and the one has scape connection to it. So for the other previous uh, states, they may have later influence on the red state. That means, uh, especially when the depth grows. So that means the long-term uh, dependency problem is uh, ignored by the existing same uh, same models for image restoration. So to uh, to address this problem, we uh, propose a memory block, uh, which contains a recursive unit that learns multi-level representations under different receptive fields, and then a gate unit that uh, is used to adaptively uh, reserve the long-term memory and uh, store the short-term memory. So after that, uh, our memory blocks are stacked in a densely connected structure. So next, we, uh, we, we analyze why uh, dense connections are helpful for image restoration. And we compare our memory with a version that without long-term dense, uh, dense connections. And we get the recovery rate outputs of uh, two memory blocks from, from both models. And we uh, then plot their frequency spectrum densities respectively. And from their density difference uh, of corresponding memory blocks, we conclude that uh, with dense connections, uh, the latter layers can absorb absorb the information carried from the previous layers and hence recover more high frequency uh, signals. So uh, after that, we present, uh, we do an ablation study on comparing MemNet uh, with other two versions. The first one is um, uh, without long-term dense connections and second one is without short-term connections. And uh, from the results, we, uh, that verified the uh, effective, effectiveness of different kinds of connections. Uh, we also compare our model with uh, state-of-the-art state, state of the art models on uh, image denoising on popular uh, benchmarks and uh, also uh, super resolution and Japan block. So in almost all of the cases, we got the, be uh, we got the best performance compared to the prior um, models. And we also uh, present some uh, qualitative results of denoising and super resolution and JPEG debugging. So we can, our model can recover better lines, curves, or patterns. And to conclude, we propose a very deep and to end uh, persistent memory network for image restoration, and we have released our code. So welcome to our poster number 11 for more details, and thanks to, thanks to your attention.